Breaking news. Welcome. I'm ready to go. Is it on? My favorite memory. Late night paint parties with Jordan. Going to Costco with Andrea and we went and we were shopping to buy all the things that we needed for the salon last minute and I took a lot of pictures with the stuffed bears. Meeting Josie and Andrea for the first time for my interview. Actually when I first interviewed here I had just come back from a life-changing trip. Like I knew I was going to come and start a new life here. On that day, actually right around now, would be the beginning of my life changing forever actually, yeah. Probably like right before we opened, like the night before we opened, because it was just like really exciting and we didn't know what was gonna happen, um, and now we're here. I think my favorite moment was the opening day actually. It was just so exciting to actually start taking care of clients. The first appointment, 11 o'clock on Tuesday, um, it was just a rush to actually have a client in here and be working in the space after all the work. The opening party. So many people came and it was just a blast. I wore a white dress and then an entire glass of red wine spilled on me, but I had a backup for some reason. I told myself to bring a backup. I have really good memories of my first day here. Probably have to be the first time I got my hair done um, by a stylist here. One is obviously Vegas. Definitely my favorite memory is Vegas. Maybe the win of the Naha. I mean, I don't really have a lot of memories of Vegas. I barely knew anybody, and we all were in Vegas together at this like amazing house in the middle of the desert. We're gonna have to give it to winning an award. Broom Street Society. Salon <laughs> Design of the Year definitely takes the most memorable moment of probably not only the year, but my life. All of a sudden, we were up on stage. Salon Design of the Year for Naha, which is the North American Hairstyling Awards. And then that actually happening felt like it, there couldn't have been real. And that's why when I went up on stage, the first things out of my mouth was, holy shit. <laughs> Hearing Josie say, oh shit, that was definitely my favorite moment. <sighs> holy shit. Um, <laughs> our goal was to create a space that made everyone feel comfortable and welcomed and to be honored and to see it happen is unbelievable. I don't really have time to like sit and hide out, but if I did. Definitely the beverage bar because it has plenty of wine and I'm such a wine person. Ground floor glass doors, sunlight. The shelving unit on the right as you first come in is beautiful. The radiator on the left hand side because I painted it. I don't get to spend a lot of time here, but I feel like this is my new favorite part. My favorite part is probably the light fixtures. I'm psychotically obsessed with light fixtures. <laughs> my own personal corner where I get to write little passive aggressive notes. The bathroom, the one on the left. I would say the living room area. Definitely the living room. Everybody ends up talking to each other. You could just feel the energy there. I love the ceiling, in particular the view from the shampoo bowl. You know where I should have done this was sitting at the color bar <laughs> where I always sit by the computer. Okay, wait, I lied. It's no, not comfortable, no. but the spotlight is nice. Laying on those futons put me to sleep. I didn't sleep for like a really long time trying to pick the right one. I think I did a good job. My favorite spot in the salon is behind the chair. We'll call it that. Why? They know why. <laughs> I know why. <laughs> I feel that um, a lot of the reason we won Best Align Design is because I painted that radiator. How many clients have come through? In total? Total? Is this like a real question? I don't even know. I feel like I should know that number. I have no idea. Hundreds. Thousands? A couple thousand. Well over a thousand. Three thousand? Is that? Fifteen thousand. I know that we get about a thousand every 90 days. Over like 20,000 clients this year. There have been a lot of clients, a lot. 
I think that there has been just the right amount of clients. A lot of statistics are against you as a hairstylist and like you're supposed to lose clients and I don't really feel like I did. I feel like we have built really strongly. People just want to be here. All but two of my clients came here. My clients love it here, that's for sure. The nicest thing a client has ever told me. <laughs> the nicest thing anybody's ever told me as a hairstylist, which is funny, has nothing ever to do with me cutting their hair. You look great. You have a really great personality. I'm very accommodating. I'm very convincing. That Anna Wintour complimented our hair color. I want your eyebrows or I want your hair. You're a beautiful, wonderful hairstylist. How inspiring and motivated I am. That I have the most beautiful skin they've ever seen in their life. Never heard that before. Well, I just got called Rania Sanchez, so I think the goal is to be like Josie. <laughs> Josie's haircut looks so good, because Josie cuts my hair. The head of a very large company and head of marketing for that company told me that I probably had one of the best names she's heard and um, that the space was everything that she'd hoped it would be. Somebody asked me if I would marry him at my our, our first visit. Did you say yes? No, I didn't. What did you convince them? Maybe I don't want to do that one. <laughs> <laughs> I think the weirdest tip I ever got was literally just like 23 cents. Coins. 30 something cents in change. Just like, oh, I found this in the bottom of my handbag. Foreign currency. I guess I got a dollar tip before. A client put the money in the back pocket, but then she spanked me and it wasn't a love tap. I know I've gotten some weird ones. Phone numbers. Oh, I can't actually say that on camera. Would drugs be considered a weird tip? She asked me if I wanted a tip or if I wanted a chart reading. Handwritten notes. Obviously, I took the chart reading. Fortunately, I haven't gotten any weird tips here. I've gotten, what I have gotten is really good tips here. The nicest tip I've gotten would be a verbal tip to be completely honest with myself. She told me that I was going to marry a European man. So, I'm still looking for him. <laughs> Fair enough. Did you call him? I think I did. I think I did text that number back. I don't think I have a most embarrassing moment here. I feel like I have embarrassing moments like every day. <laughs> I think my most embarrassing moment of Broom Street Society was when my pants fell down. I did my first client's hair with the entire side of my dress open because I never finished getting ready before I got here. I was dancing. I sneezed and it caused me to rip my pants. What song was playing? Probably a song I didn't like. So your pants fall down when you don't like a song? Yeah. The first month that I was here, I was calling Andrea Andrea the entire time and nobody corrected me. I had a client that came in with her kid I thought was a boy and I was like, he's so cute and it was not. It was a girl with a very sh short, short haircut. I definitely have slipped and fell on hair before and <laughs> went flying. <laughs> I feel like every day I have an embarrassing moment. Everyone's talking about these new colored shampoos. I just finished highlighting. I just wanted to use a purple shampoo. Taylor was like, no, and grabbed the shampoo bottle out of my hand. I just didn't know it was long lasting. So thank you, Taylor. I appreciate that for saving me every day. It's my life. You know what? I haven't had any embarrassing moments here which I'm very happy about as well. No, I don't have embarrassing moments, I'm perfect. <laughs> probably the night of the party, that's probably gonna be embarrassing. My Broom Street secret. Is this like the fun fact thing? That I secretly wish I lived here instead of my own home. Super shine light on everything. Seven years ago, I was fired from my first hair apprenticeship in New York City. Six years ago, I was fired from my second apprenticeship in New York City. Every day that I come to work, I have to have a pep talk with myself for like my full 40 minute commute here. Always showing up a half hour early so I can do my hair and makeup and make sure I look presentable. I'm not a morning person whatsoever. And I open like every morning, every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I actually love at the end of the day when I have to empty the garbages out 
because I find the weirdest stuff and it just makes my day kind of. I think in the last week, I probably found like five pregnancy tests. I definitely go into everyone's station when they're not here. I don't touch anything, but there's a lot of times if you don't lock your station and I'm kind of here late night, I probably have looked into it. I don't think I actually have any secrets that one person doesn't know. I don't even know what that means. Like, I thought we weren't supposed to keep secrets. I think the cool thing about Broom Street is there isn't a lot of secrets. I don't have secrets. There is no secret, it's just volume. Well, my Broom Street secret is a secret. To wrap up, Broom Street in the last year has to be like a fully fueled rocket of an adventure in reality that's just been like strapped to me. <laughs> I mean, I was here on day one, minute one, negative one before we opened. And how I can't believe it's been a year already because time flies when you're having fun. I can't believe it's already the first year. I am so proud of both of you, Josie and Andrea, um, for creating this amazing space for hairstylists to be who they want to be. It's just been a blast. It's been super amazing and supportive. Josie and Andrea, you really, uh, you started something that's really special and really unique. And we've just had such a wonderful group of people. I just, I'm very appreciative to be a part of the team here at Broom Street. I just feel really happy and welcome and I mean, for me so far, it's really changed the way that I see what I can do, what I do. And I'm just really excited to like be a part of the team. I'm so happy for Andrea and Josie and all they've done. It's been amazing and I love everyone here, especially Josie and Andrea. I love Josie Sanchez with my whole heart. Both of you are instrumental in changing my life and bringing me back home. Like genuinely, I couldn't imagine my life going another way or like working anywhere else. I literally would never leave New York as long as my life is here, I'm here. Every day really is a new adventure in this joint and it's a really cool, that's really cool and very inspiring. I'm excited for many more years to come. I hope there's gonna be many, many more. Like, and I will be part of this for a long time. One year down many more to go and we're gonna grow and it's gonna be great i can't wait i think you're done <laughs> i gotta see that last part oh, <laughs>